Hi, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. Uh, now today we're going to look at another beginner's tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at making this um, bracket shaped component. Um, this tutorial is going to look at the extrude function and we're also going to be having a look at the fillet function as well. Okay, uh, to be able to help us to make this shape. So if you're new to the channel, I just want to start off by saying uh, welcome and uh, like and subscribe. Uh, all the help possible is useful in helping me develop um, future content. So let's get started then. Um, let's have a look. So we're going to have a go with this component at making it. Let's open a new page. Uh, we're going to use the sizes from this. Uh, I'm just going to go to full screen. So we'll go through the making of this component. Now, the way I would start it is drawing out a side view. So I'm just going to pick uh, the right plane and I'm going to sketch on that right plane. OK, and I'm just going to create the basic shape or the outline from the side view. Like so. Now, I'm not going to use any dimensions to start off with. I'll just get the basic shape. And once I've got that basic shape, I'll start putting some sizes to it. So, for instance, the top there is 30. Um, the width there is 10. 10 again here. And the gap there is also 10. The bottom size along there is 50. And the size along there is also 50. And that will define our drawing. So you can see there the dimensions sizes for the shape. So 30 across the top, 20, 50, 50, and each of them, the gap around is 10 all the way. Um, now you'll see that I've created a very basic shape. Now within the component, there is a curvature here at the bottom. So I'm going to create that curvature. The way we do that is using the fillet tool within the sketches or the rounded corner tool, the fillet tool here. So if we click on that and it automatically comes up with a standard offset of 10, so or a standard value of 10. So I'm just going to click this inside edge because that inside edge is 10. It'll show me a preview of what it looks like. So I'm just going to tick there because I'm happy with that. And then the outside edge is 20. So I'm just going to change the outside value to 20. And then click on there and tick again to show that I'm happy with that. And that's created that curvature around that bottom corner. Okay. Now, once I've finished with this tool, I don't want to use it anymore. So I'm just going to click the X to exit that tool. You could also use the escape button on your keyboard. That should also exit it too. Okay. So I've got the basic outline there. So I'm going to extrude that outline. Um, the extrusion for this is just going to come out to 40 mil. And across like so. So that comes across 40 mil and just tick there. So I've used the features tool, the extrude tool and brought it out 40 mil across. And you will see now if I just change the view. So that's there is a quick um, key feature. I just press space and it brings me up with the orientation option. Um, I'll just show you from the other view. So you can see now how we've got that outer shape. We've got the generic shape, but we've not got any of the curvatures or the hole through the bottom. So we need to work on them next. So I'm going to create a fillet around this top corner first. So I'm going to go up to the fillet tool here. And I've got some different options for using the fillet tool. Now, I just want to use the edge. So I'm going to use this end one here. What that will allow me to do is select on the edge of the component. And it will fill it or round that corner off. So I want to do that one. And I want to do that one. Now, the advantage to this tool is that I can select multiple edges for the same size. So if I've got multiple things that are filleted to 10 millimeters, I can click on them edges and it will round them all off. Okay, so I don't have to do one at a time, go in and out of the tool. It's quite a useful little feature. So once I've done that, I'm just going to tick at the top here. Um, uh, if it doesn't show, sorry, before I do that, if it doesn't show up with this yellow preview, what you might sign sometimes is it's marked here as no preview, which will just give you a blue line. 
if you click full preview here, then you'll be actually be able to see what it's going to look like as a demonstration. Tick there and it will make that feature. OK, so we've got them rounded corners at the top. Now we've also got a rounded feature around here, so I need to create that as well. And again, I'm going to use the fillet tool for that. So fillet tool. Now this time what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this big end one here, which is the rounded, the full round fillet. And that's got three parts to it. What it wants me to do is select the three sides related to this rounding process. So in terms of this model, that's this one. Make sure you click down into the next box, this end one. And the third one is this outside one here. And again, you'll see the preview of what it's trying to make. So we're trying to create that rounded surface at the uh, bottom, that rounded corners. Again, if it's not on full preview, just make sure it's on there and you'll be able to see it. OK. So if I tick there and it'll add in that curvature at the bottom. Last part then for this, I want to put in a circle on the bottom of here. So I'm going to click on there. And if I press my space bar, it will bring up this option, but it will also bring up the option to go normal too. So if I click on the normal too, you'll see I have um, the face now lined up underneath. So it makes it a lot easier for me to sketch on. So if I go to sketch, I'm going to click to sketch on that surface. So I'm sketching on that blue surface there. And I'm going to click the circle. Now my circle is in line with this end profile. So the center of this radius, which is around here, well, it's exact, in fact, it's exactly there. Um, so I can click on that point, drag it out. Now I want the radius of this to be 20. So the diameter of this to be 20. So I've got that circle in. Just check that it's on the right face. I can just turn the direction, rotate using the wheel on the mouse, click it down and move your mouse around. And I've got this circle here in place now. So if I go to features and I'm going to go to cut and that will cut straight through that bottom of the component. So click there and cut straight through. OK, so what we've created there is that full bracket shape. So I'm just going to put that into the view so you can see it nicer. Um, we've got the bracket shape and the hole through the bottom, leaving me with the profile that I was after from the beginning. Now, this is part of the beginner series. So um, I have done a few other tutorials on the beginner's guide to SolidWorks and getting you started with modeling. Um, so I'll leave a link in the top corner to that so you can have a look at them in the, in the upcoming future. Um, have a practice and get to know the software a little bit better. Thanks for watching. hope this has helped you. And like I said at the beginning, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, um, like the videos, and that will help me produce more content for you in the future.